Okay, I'm going to write out an equation, y equals kx cubed. And I'm going to say that, okay, y represents the number of tiny cubes, the number of one centimeter cubes, and x is the number of ten centimeter cubes in a big cube, okay? Now I say, why is the number of tiny cubes in a big cube? So this in big cube was thought to apply to both of these, but let's be explicit about that again along the lines of saving Western civilization. Okay. Um, what we know is from the one cube that we've looked at is that uh, if you have one 10 centimeter cube in your big cube, that is your 10 centimeter cube is your big cube, that uh, y has to equal a thousand when x equals one. When you have one 10 centimeter cube, you have a thousand little cubes. Then the question is, what is the value of k? Okay, well, if y is a thousand when x equals one, then you can put a thousand in here and you can put one in here and you can solve for k. We've just done, been over enough algebra that that should be fairly simple. So our equation that we get, okay, y equals a thousand if x equals one, so a thousand should equal k times one cubed. We solve that, well the solution is clearly k equals one thousand. So I'm going to say that y equals kx cubed becomes y equals a thousand x cubed and now we have an equation that we can use to figure out well I did something really boneheaded up here I'll, I'll come back to it in a minute um, okay we can use this equation to figure out how many uh, tiny cubes would go in any of these big cubes without having to go through all the reasoning. Not that it's not important to be able to go through all the reasoning, but once we get the idea, uh, we maybe don't want to go through every detail of the reasoning every time, even though we probably want to kind of use our imagination to think through rows and layers and, 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 and so forth. Um, we don't want to really do that. Now, the bonehead thing I did up here, um, Kind of in a, you know, we're short on time. We actually ran a little over time. No excuse. Okay, x is supposed to be the number of 10 centimeter cubes in one row of your big cube. Okay, not in the whole big cube. Um, you know, this clearly wouldn't would, wouldn't work. Um, if it was in the whole big cube, you just multiply a thousand or k by uh, x, and you would get it. So. If you understand what I just said, okay, don't worry about that. But this is number of little cubes in one row of big cubes. So we got this equation, y equals a thousand x cubed. Now, if you want the number of tiny cubes in your 40 centimeter cube, you say, okay, it takes 10 centimeter, uh, four 10 centimeter cubes to do one row of this 40 centimeter cube. So x would be four, since x is now the number of 10 centimeter cubes in one row of the big cube. If x is 4, then y equals 1,000 times 4 cubed, and that comes out 64,000, and you'll recall that that was the result that we got for the number of 1 centimeter, cube, one centimeter cubes in your 40 centimeter cube. Okay. Um, now, if you wanted the number in your 500 centimeter cube, then x would be what? Well, it takes 50 10 centimeter cubes to make one row of this one. You would plug in 50 for x, and you would get your 125, excuse me, 125 million. Um, and if you wanted your 40 centimeter cube, you would plug 400 in, uh, and you'd get your 64 million. Um, yeah. Plug 400 in here, and you get your 64 million. Okay, 
Uh, this is the kind of thing we're going to do to develop the idea of proportionality. And I'm not going to say any more at this point. That's sufficient. If you have all this in your mind before we talk about it again, uh, you should be pretty well equipped to understand <coughs> this last topic in the course.